just hooked up. Not a bad fish either. G'day everyone, welcome back. Josh here. Today we're just down at a little creek. Uh, I'm not even too sure what the name, but Waterloo, I think. Um, it's more of a Yabby Creek. I'll give you a look. We're fairly well out west now. It opens up around here. I've got the rods in with just a worm on them. Um, we were going to another place, probably about another 20 k's out the road, but the road crossings all flooded, and I wasn't going to risk going through it today. I've got to get back, get Josie from school. Um, I've had the rods in for about 10 minutes, and we have, I have lost a bait on each of them, so there's something in here biting them. There's generally yellow belly in all these little creeks. This particular creek's more well known for yabbying as far as I know anyway this hole here opens up goes up around the bend there and opens up even more uh, it's way too boggy to get the ute around there so we've just pulled up here where we can get to there's a the road crossings just back down there and there's a bit of a ridge that's dry um, that gully that's in front of the car it's all boggy black soil I don't want to risk going through it I just hooked up not a bad fish either only it's a carp I thought we might have been onto a yellery then not a bad little fish Got done film. Got another one. Feels a bit. Oh, nice yellow belly. Nice one too. He wouldn't be quite big enough to eat. There you go. I thought that'd be in here. Nice yellow belly. That other rod's going off exactly the same time. I couldn't, didn't know which one to grab. We'll get this fella back. not big enough to keep and eat, I don't think. We should measure him, actually. He'd be close. Probably 30 centimetres. We've got the tape here. We'll put... This tape's a bit off, so we'll put the three centimetres on his tip of his mouth. He's just legal. Oh well, I think he's going to come home with us. We'll um, have a yellow belly catch and cook. Oh, he nearly got away. We've got a 30.001 centimetre yellow belly. I've just changed up the bait. Um, we've run out of worms, so I'll put a decent sized yabby on here. Oh yes. Another good yellow belly. Straight up. I reckon he'll go 32. I'll just see how well he's hooked. He's hooked pretty well. I'll grab, I'll just run and grab the tape measure. Oh yeah. They're, going, they're only just going to make 30. Yeah, he's easy. 30 and a half. I'm nearly 31 actually. There we go, 31 centimetres. 
Another little pan size fella. wasn't a bad day in the end uh, end up getting two yellow belly one's just 30 and the other one's about 31 and a bit so they're both just eating size good little eating size actually I've just got them in the esky here with a bit of water to keep them alive that's the smaller one I think yeah that's the bigger one nice little pan size fish I wouldn't have expected to pull up at this spot. There was only sort of a default that we couldn't get out to the main creek. This is only really just a a little overflow creek. Um, but the, in the last hour, we've got two. We've got to get back to town, and we might come back out here and do a bit more fishing. Like I said, this bit of a hole here opens right up, just up around the corner there. And we only got, we end up with the one carp, so um, anyway, we'll head back in and um, get these fish cleaned up and we might even cook them up. Um, give you a quick look at how we're going to clean these fish. I've just given him a head spike in there so he's well and truly dead. Um, first thing we'll do is knock the scales off. Just go against the scales like that. And just keep going until the whole fish is done. They come off reasonably easy. Now that I'm happy I've got all the scales off, no more scales left on there, what we do, we put the knife in here, in its rear end, slice all the way up. All the way up to there. That'll just pop out, put the knife in behind the gills, quick chop like that, same on this side, knife in behind the gills, you should be able to just reach in, draw that out in one go, bring the gills up, snap the head like that, Knife in there, and we'll give him a quick rinse off. And there you have it, fish ready for the cooker. All nice and cleaned. We've got all our fish all scaled up, um, gutted, take the head off. I've just put a few slits in each one, and in some foil. I'll see if I can put you there for a second. And all we're going to do, roll them up in the foil, wrap them up like a nice little package, same with this one, so we've got them rolled up in a little package each, all we'll do is Get the barbecue going. I've got the barbecue going on relatively slow heat. It's not frying the heck out of them. And we'll give them the, leave them there for 15, 20 minutes. These fish are looking pretty good to me. You take them inside and have a crack at them. Our fish is all cooked up. Actually looks pretty good. I don't know what the lighting is going to be like in here. 